Hello, welcome to China Mosaic. I'm Sun Wanlu. Lately, the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China has opened. This meeting is being convened at a critical time as China embarks on a new journey to build itself into a modern socialist country in all respects. One of the key takeaways is the proposal of advancing the rejuvenation of the Chinese nation on all fronts through a Chinese path to modernization. This is a key takeaway because it represents more than just a goal for China's development in the new era. It clearly points out the path that China, the world's most populous country, chooses to take towards modernization and national rejuvenation. Firstly, Chinese modernization pursues not only prosperity, but also common prosperity for all. China's rapid economic growth in the over 40 years of reform and opening up has enabled the basic needs of the Chinese people to be largely met. After persistent hard work in the recent decade, close to 100 million poor rural residents have been lifted out of poverty. The issue of absolute poverty in China has been once and for all resolved, and the dream of building a moderately prosperous society has been achieved. The report to the Congress has once again highlighted the importance of advancing rural revitalization across the board, improving the system of income distribution, implementing the Employment First strategy, and improving the social security system, including elderly care, medical care, and housing, so as to substantially grow the middle income group as a share of the total population, guarantee equitable access to basic public services, and ensure modern living standards of living in rural areas by 2035. China has included the pursuit of common prosperity for all in its journey of modernization. Secondly, Chinese modernization is one of material and cultural ethical advancement of harmony between humanity and nature. In the past, Western-style modernization has long shared the definition of economic growth. China, however, pursues significant increase in economic strength, scientific and technological strength, and comprehensive national strength, while stressing the importance of advancing the Beautiful China Initiative, accelerating the transition to a model of green development, and working actively and prudently toward the goals of reaching peak carbon emissions and carbon neutrality. China also underscores the improvement and development of whole process people's democracy, enrichment of the people's cultural lives, and so on. The path China chooses is one of more comprehensive, sustainable, and high-quality development. What's more, China does not achieve modernization through colonization or invasion, nor will it seek hegemony or expansion in the future. Chinese modernization is one of peaceful development. In my opinion, the core lies in openness, cooperation, and sharing. China keeps its door open, builds the Belt and Road with other countries, and strives to promote trade and investment liberalization and facilitation. It is committed to supporting and assisting other developing countries in accelerating development and to building a human community with a shared future. The modernization process of China is also part of the journey of humanity's common progress and development. For centuries, countries all around the world have been exploring and striving for modernization. Building China into a great modern socialist country in all respects and realizing the rejuvenation of the Chinese nation is a wish of the Chinese people. China's path to modernization featuring common prosperity and all-round coordinated and peaceful development creates a new form of human advancement, which will contribute to building an even better world. Thank you for watching.